Hello, I'm Amy Rademacher, Farm Safety Specialist at Carl Foundation Hospital in Urbana, Illinois, and Progressive Ag Safety Day Coordinator for over 16 years. Today I'm going to have the opportunity to share with you um, how to utilize animals if you can't bring animals into your Progressive Ag Safety Day. Even a good animal on a bad day or if there's 400 kids in that animal's face um, can be kind of aggressive and behave inappropriately for a safety day. So, I use a set of plastic animals, and you can buy a set um, on Amazon. This set was bought recently for just a little over $6. This is a smaller set, but it works well, it travels well, and it'll still do the job. So what you wanna do, you can have those animals. You'll need a red and a green Sharpie, and then take your animals, and you're gonna mark them, and we'll show um, different animals here in a minute. Mark them on places where you should and you should not touch the animal. Then what I usually do after I do that is I distribute them to the kids and I have them look at the X's and then we talk about what that is. So um, all of the animals, you will see that there is a red X on all of their faces. We know that touching animals on their faces, either they could bite or they could um, do a headbutt and those are areas that we want to avoid. So you'll notice on all the animals, there are red X's on their faces. We also have red X's um, on their hindquarters and in that, those areas, not because you couldn't touch an animal back there, but we don't want to surprise an animal back there. So that's why we mark red areas back there. We mark red areas on their hooves, but then the green areas, and again, you'll see that on all the animals, they are here on their shoulders, um, right behind their front uh, legs, on their neck. Those are all appropriate areas. So. I always say that red means no and green means go. And that's why we use red in the areas where we don't want to touch, green in the areas where we can touch the animals. All of these animals, it's the same way. Same areas. The only thing I draw attention to with this animal and with our goat, um, our sheep and our goat, we talk a little bit about the horns and they're marked red also. Something very simple that you can put together really quick but pass them out to the kids, ask them if they can tell you why there's red X's in certain spots and green X's on others. Um, so it's a good way, if you have a bunch of animals, you can distribute them and have a large group understanding the same concept. So this is another tool that you can use um, when teaching animal safety and how to approach animals and where to pet them safely. Next, I'll be demonstrating how to tie a quick release knot and how you can use that at your safety day. Now we'll be demonstrating how you could show and demonstrate a quick release knot. This could be used for cows, this could be used for horses, but we're always looking for a way out with animals, but if we need to get that animal untied quickly, how do we do that? So I have a halter here for um, a cow, and I'm just gonna drop the headpiece to demonstrate this. We'll place this behind our rod that we're using today, which might be um, a fence. We take the rope, we bring it in front, we wrap it around the back, then we make like a bunny ear loop, we place that in and then tighten it. Now, in a situation then, in an emergency, if you need to release that animal, all you would have to do is pull on the um, bare end of the halter and it would automatically come undone.